Let a man examine himself, and so let him eat. The Lord's Supper is a wonderful commemoration for the people of God to remember how expensive Calvary was. It's a great thing to gather. I hope you're there every week to remember the Lord Jesus in his appointed way. Because it's purgative, isn't it? Let a man examine himself. And it doesn't say, and so let him stay at home. It says, so let him eat. In examining ourselves, there is a purging, there is a cleansing, a judging of self before we come to remember the Lord. Then it is memorial. We look back and we remember how expensive we were. The more expensive a thing is to us, the more we'll care for it. When we think of how expensive we were to Him, we won't be careless about our lives. The greatest price that was ever paid for anything was paid for you when Christ redeemed you from sin. And that's what we remember. But there's something else that in this special time we look ahead, don't we? We look within, we look back, we look ahead. And when we look ahead, we remember it's only till He comes. Sometimes the old-timers get up and say, one time more, one time less. And it's true. One of these days, maybe tomorrow, it's going to be the last Maybe last week was the last time. We'll never do it again, because we'll have him. My fear there's a tremendous minimizing of the value of the Lord's Supper today. People are saying, you know, let's get it moving here. I mean, these pauses and all, and people don't seem to... And it's just not working out. We're going to have to get it a little more organized here. Well, basically, the problem is that if you're exercised, you don't need organized. The less exercised, the more organized. If our hearts are exercised, if we come full of Christ, well, we won't have to worry about those painfully long pauses. It's not wrong to have some pauses. You know, the sisters, they like to offer their worship too. And they can do it only consciously during those quiet times. So don't be afraid of some good, healthy, quiet moments. But... We know what we mean by these painful pauses. We won't have to worry about that because we'll have more than enough to give him. I've used the illustration of corn popping. We tend to be like that at the Lord's Supper. You know, when you're popping corn. Pop. Pop, pop. And then pop, 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 pop. You know how it works? Well, that's how it is sometimes at the Lord's Supper. We come cold, that's why. So it takes us a long time. Lots of hymns. The scripture says speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. We've got to use someone else's words to get our own heartstrings vibrating. And so eventually it starts to make contact and then all of a sudden at prime time everybody wants to get up, you know. Well, if you come hot, the Spirit of God could lay his hand on you right at the beginning of the meeting and use you for his glory, perhaps to set the whole tone of the meeting because the Spirit of God is the one who is orchestrating it. So you be exercised, you young men. You go on and mature in your expressions to God. The scriptures are full of wonderful expressions. You learn them and live them. Make them your own and express them to the Lord.